Sign up at the end of this review to get my personal gear list. Hey there, Tony Policastro here from the Acoustic Letter. Today we're going to look at a custom Martin Dreadnought, but before we do so, please stick around to the end of the video and sign up for the Acoustic Letter. You'll be very, very happy that you did so. This custom Dreadnought from Martin contains a piece, pieces of hand-selected wood that totally fooled me when I first played it. In fact, I saw it from a distance and I thought, I don't usually like Dreadnoughts made out of koa. I guess I'll give it a try, but it's not koa. You'll see why I was confused in just a second. Let me give you a rundown of the specs. We have on this Dreadnought an Adirondack spruce top, an ebony bridge with a long bone saddle. Underneath, we have 5 16 Adirondack spruce bracing that is scalloped and forward shifted. Huge base on this puppy. We have a beautiful herringbone rosette, tortoiseshell binding around the entire top, and on the back, what I thought was koa is actually figured coca bolo. It's a beautifully figured piece of coca bolo. It's very, very nice and warm brown, which is why I was fooled, and it sounds awesome. Very, very, very nice selection. We have a mahogany neck with an ebony fingerboard, classic diamond and square inlay, an inch and three quarter bone nut with a performing artist neck profile, open gear Grover tuners in chrome, classic Martin style headstock with a coca bolo overlay and that beautiful vintage logo. So we're going to give this custom figured coca bolo dreadnought a play so you can hear what it sounds like. <laughs>
Click the link to get the world's best acoustic guitar reviews sent to your inbox. Why? Because it's free and it's the easiest way to get prices and high res photos of each guitar. Plus, as soon as you sign up, you'll get the free tabs and lessons for the songs I play in my guitar reviews. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this button.